Good morning. Happy Friday. You got honeycomb. Uh -huh. We are back in Indy. Huh? I said we're back in Indy. Uh oh. You want some honeycomb cereal, baby? I can't have all of this and cereal. You now can't? that I made us some boiled eggs. Really? You can't eat we got um, some turkey sausage here and some. You can't eat some um, bread toast. You mean tell me you cannot eat? Uh, cereal too. I don't know. I have to see how I feel after I eat them eggs. Oh, that's a good idea. Because I might be full. That's but. A good idea. So yeah, we're in India again because we got a lot going on this weekend. Um, there's a wedding today, and um, another wedding that I'm supposed to be singing at. I'm supposed to be singing at the reception this time. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Depends on how I feel. Uh, <laughs> um, um, and then Chad's niece is, well, our niece is graduating from high school on Sunday. So tomorrow they're having like a little graduation party for her. So yeah, we're up here for the weekend. Um, we're going to stay until Monday this time. We're going to leave sometime on Monday. Normally we leave on Sundays, but we took Monday off because we knew we would just have way too much going on to try to make it back yeah. for work on Monday. So. Absolutely. So I'm just hanging out with Nana, eating breakfast. Chad is getting showered and Oscar is running amok barking at everything <laughs> aren't you old face he got a groom yesterday he's all cute he does he, he really looks does cute. <laughs> he looks real uh -huh. cute uh-huh he really looks cute good old boy okay, you are thank girl. you get, I'm gonna get, take two get you two mm. get you two or three whatever you want that works all right. thank you yeah, I'm gonna cover these with the What's your name? So you might have to stick a fork in him and, and, and warm his for five seconds. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll warm it up when he gets out. I'll just put some this on him and this. You know, yeah, all that'll work. Stick a fork in him and, and put him in the, put him in the microwave. Uh -huh, just, yeah. The fork is keeping from bursting, but for five to ten seconds, they'll be okay. Cool. Well, I'm going to eat now. Look at my dress, guys. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen this since the wedding day. Oh my goodness, I just want to put it back on. I miss this dress, y'all. This was like the best wedding dress ever in life. Keep telling that I'm recording. Oh, she's recording. This is like the best wedding dress ever. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen it since. The day after our wedding when we dropped it off at Nana's house. And it's been sitting here because I've been dragging my feet when getting it preserved. But we're about to take it to the store now that I got it from. So they can preserve it and box it up. Oh, I love this thing, y'all. I just really want to put it on. Can I put it on? No, I can't put it on. Ugh. <laughs> Cause then when I get it back, it's gonna be all boxed up, so I'm not gonna be able to take it out. I should have wore it one more time before I boxed it up. Yeah, you should wear it to work Tuesday. Seriously. Yeah. Aww. I love my dress, y'all. It looked good on it too. Oh my goodness, mm. it was worth every thinking penny. Mm -hmm. And we spent a bunch of pennies. A lot on of this pennies. Dress. A lot of pennies. <laughs> a whole <laughs> lot of pennies on this dress, and it was worth every single one. If you are a bride to be. Or about to, you know, ever get married. I'm telling you the dress. Don't short yourself on the dress. Please don't short yourself on the dress. It is so worth it in the end. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, that was my moment. So, <laughs> we're about to put it in the car so we can take it to the shop now. So, thank you, Nana, for housing the dress for eight months, nine months. How long has it been? Nine. Long? It's been almost, it's, it'll be 10 months in June. Gosh, it'll be 10 months on the 20th. Wow. It's been 10 months? I know, ain't that crazy? Yes. Oh. Well, it was really nice. It was, yes. it was beautiful. The only thing, I didn't try it on. <laughs> If I had tried it on, <laughs> now you so I might have been a bride for a few moments. <laughs> We were came, we came know, surprised right? and yes. she's like, hi. I know. Hey, I'm in your wedding dress. <laughs> so, so I should have tried it on. I know. And that way I would have been the dream bride. Now it's going to be boxed up forever until <laughs> my little girl gets married. She can wear it if she wants. Right. Or I can just, you know, walk around the house in it every yes. now and then. We can practice honey, honeymoon. <laughs> Shut up. You love me. So, we're having this debate because I want to show you guys, you know, like, we don't, 
everything is not peachy all the time, and there are definitely times when Chad gets on my nerves. Not, I wish she so, gets on my nerves. So we're having this conversation, Woo! and so we're going to a wedding today, right? We're going to. I hope that you guys can see me. She, we're going yes, to a wedding today, and I asked Chad if he brought his suit jacket. No, he only brought the pants, and I am livid because I feel like, as a man. It is common sense to know that if we go to a formal event, a wedding, a funeral, or a church, or a retirement party, you wear a suit. If it's too hot, if the <laughs> wedding's outside, turn. Let me know it's my turn. then you don't wear your jacket, but you always have a suit jacket. And I'm like, are you kidding me? me like, this is why turn. I always feel like I always have to ask Chad. And he's like, why are you always ask me, asking what he packs? And well, I mean, I didn't think to ask him if he had a suit jacket because I feel like that's common sense. But, you know, I asked him what kind of jeans he's packing, what kind of shirts he's wearing, because he wears jeans and t-shirts all the time. I'm not particularly a fan, but that's the way that he dresses. So when we go places, I want to make sure that he looks like I look because I dress up all the time. Even on my down days, I look. Trying to change me. I look, I'm not trying to change you. <laughs> it's just about, I mean, so here's my thing. Like, he, I felt like it's common sense for him to know he needed a suit jacket. He feels like that's not common sense. Or that I'm overreacting. I don't feel like I'm overreacting. I think he is. Are you ready? To, are you, it's okay. Can I talk now? Yes. Yeah, you chop right see, on look, it. Look, now she's throwing the camera away. So. <laughs> you, you have to put it in so the middle. That's not even the middle. Well, you have to I put it look, to where. I don't feel like they can see me. So, here's no. the deal. Oh, I can't stand <laughs> Here's you. the deal. Here's the deal. So, she says that it's common sense to go this and this and this and this and this. Okay. So, we've been to two weddings at least together and every single time we went to a wedding well you can't say every single time it's only two every single every two every two times we went to the wedding i didn't wear a jacket they now were, wait 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 were outside, <laughs> let me, let me but were they outside i was about to say it were they outside i was about to say it shut your mouth woman <laughs> so <laughs> now they were outside but at the same time okay but she's saying well just if you go to a wedding you wear a jacket, okay? I don't know those things. I don't go to weddings, weddings left are or right. Weddings formal events. But I went to two weddings with no jacket. That's what Because they were both outside. But it's still a formal event. But it's different when it's outside. But like, it's, why Why don't you understand that? Because like, you're saying wedding, formal, jacket all the time. But I've been to two weddings. Right, but you had your jacket with you. It was just too hot for you to wear it. See, that's the point that you're missing. You brought your jacket because it's standard to bring the suit. Whether you wear the jacket because it's too hot, that's a different story. But you always have your jacket. As a man, you always wear the suit jacket. Like, I'm telling y'all, that's common sense. And he feels like I'm overreacting. She overreacting. And see, it's like, whatever. I'm over the conversation because it's like you don't get... I mean, but, Just say, okay, you but, know what, you're right. But I slipped this time. I Just, I've already said that. But no, you keep you're, trying to defend your Because point, I, like, what I'm trying to say is see it from my side a little bit. The fact that you're saying that a wedding is a formal thing all the time, no matter what. And but I, you know, and you should know that. I've only been to freaking two weddings. And both times I didn't wear a jacket. I get it. They were outside. That's why. Mm -hmm. But... That's what I'm saying. I went to two weddings, didn't wear jackets. Now, again, I get it. They were outside, but it happened. So I, for me, it's like I, in my head, I'm like, well, not that big of a deal <laughs> because I've done it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I see what you're saying. But it's not like I went. See, he's left. saying that now that we're on camera. No, I, I said that just a that. minute ago. No, you didn't. Yes, I did, but she don't be listening because she's so deep in her head yelling at me that she won't listen. Whatever. Conversation, but I just wanted y'all to see that we do we do argue. I mean, we don't argue, argue. It's just no, disagreements. She, she just there, yells at me and hits me. Don't <laughs> please don't. She doesn't hit me. I'm just playing. No, me. like and that's the thing. That's another thing that irritates me. I feel like you joke way too much. Oh like goodness. sometimes yeah. you can just. I mean, like every other word is a joke. Like sometimes it's cool, but sometimes just be serious. You know what? If you he jokes about serious stuff too. Like we're at my grandmother's house. And I didn't make his plate. And my grandmother's like, you know you should be making his plate. I'm like, Nana, I gotta get ready. And he's going along with it like, well, you know, she she never takes care of me, blah, blah, blah. When you joke with old people, sometimes they believe you. Like, sometimes you just gotta leave the joke aside and be serious because that makes me look bad. Like, 
I'm like, seriously, Chad, you gonna right let her and, and sit right, there right and make her seem said, like? Right after, just, right after I said, I was just, just playing. She takes care of me. Right after I said that. Yeah, but you joke it, so it's like, is he really for real? Like, was the joke for real? Is he just saying playing now because she, Gabrielle was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it made me feel some kind of way. Cause I feel like you joked too oh, much. Oh, babe. Then you know what? When you when it happens, and when I do something to irritate you, you need to bring it up then, not wait till we're. Well, you're mad I was about gonna bring. Else. I was gonna bring it up in the car because I didn't want to bring it up in front of Nana. But since we're talking about things, he just asked me before I turned on the camera. He asked me, exactly. "What else do I do exactly. that irritates him?" So now he don't want me to bring it up because we're on the camera. No, so if, okay. No, all I'm That's saying. No, all I'm saying is if it irritates you. When it irritates well, you, I tell me. Well, I know we're going to do it at Nana's house. No, I'm talking so. in general. You said that my joke and irritate you. I always joke. But so we, it, these are not new things. We have had all of these conversations before, haven't we? Tell me I'm lying. But you, tell me I'm lying. You never take it to this extreme <laughs> that it irritates you and the freaking makes you feel some kind of way and all that stuff. I didn't know that. Okay. You think I would do that on purpose? Okay. I mean, honestly, do you think I would do that stuff on purpose to hurt you? I mean, but Come on. don't ask me. We haven't had this conversation before. We're at Five Guys and they have this fancy pop machine. Like, it gives you different flavors okay. for the pop. Hold your pop. Which one you want? So, which one? We're with Come Mom here. and Gracie for lunch. They got high tea. I got peach and strawberry Sprite. This should be good. Oh, okay. thanks, babe. Get my nails done. I got cherry vanilla, Mr. Pibb. Cherry vanilla, Mr. Pibb. I said okay. good. Let's see. Okay, Grace. Will you push Come it? Here. Push. No, that's Mr. Pibb. Different Pitt. flavor of. Come here. Hold your cup. It's all. So I got my five guys. My cheese bugger. Lettuce and tomato and grilled mushrooms at the bottom. Fries and such. Good, Gracie. <laughs> So we are chilling at the reception. We just finished the wedding. Um, it's really beautiful in here. It's really beautiful. Like the table is really cute. My babe looks all spiffy. Don't him look spiffy in his chai. It matches my dress. And she picked it out. I did pick it out. This is a little centerpiece. They've got these complimentary cocktails that Chad's drinking up. I was drinking the lemon drop. Very good. Very good. But, uh, Like we're sitting at this table and the people that just walked up <laughs> is another interracial couple, like a white chick and a black guy. So totally opposite. So totally opposite and they assigned seats. So it's probably funny. They're like, oh, let's put the two interracial couples together. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see how that goes. They seem nice. I think the guy was like African. He had access. So <laughs> yeah, so um, we're just gonna enjoy ourselves. They've got some dinner, we have some hors d'oeuvres and Beautiful we love each other now. You got cut off of our, our argument earlier, but we're, yeah. we're better. We're better. Right? we're better now. We're because, better now. Because she's the boss, <laughs> and I was wrong, so we're good to go. Whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. We're back home now. Well, we're back at Mom's house. We're staying at her house tonight. We stayed at Nana's house last night. But we had fun. The wedding was really nice. Yeah, we was. The couple across from us turned out to be really cool. Like, we had a lot in common. So, um, yeah, we had a good time. You had a good time with the Indeed. wedding. And she looked so good. Thanks, babe. I didn't even get to show y'all what I had on. We got some pictures, though. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe I'll throw a picture in here or something, but... Maybe she'll blog. I don't know. We are tired. Oh, my goodness. I'm Time about to sleep red. so good. Because we ain't got to get up early. I didn't even wash my face. I ain't took off no makeup. It's it's just what it is tonight. Sorry. I mean, yeah. I've but stuck all my makeup on. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, so it's a wrap for us, but... So, good night. Good night. Good morning. Happy Saturday. So, Saturday morning, and my mom had a meeting to go to, and Grace is here, and Chad's here. Are you coming out? I'm not going to film you. He just got out of the shower, so I'm starving. I was like waiting on him to eat, but he was in the shower forever. Let me see. See? 
<laughs> you ratchet. How long is it going to take you to get dressed? About 20 seconds. But well, you can't up. film that. I'm not going to push it. I'm just trying to hurry up and eat. I'm hungry. I'm okay. starving. Babe, you ain't gotta wait on me. And I was just trying to be nice and wait on my husband so we could eat well, together. You're a very sweetheart. Very big sweetheart. Thank you. And I love you very much. But you're gonna have to speed it up. I'm gonna speed it up. <laughs> so yeah. I think uh he's so trifling. Um <laughs> oh, yeah. I think my stepfather cooked breakfast because my mom had a meeting to go to this morning and she's still not back. I'm like, lady. Get back here, because we about to leave pretty soon. We got to go to Lafayette for our niece's graduation party. And Lafayette's about an hour, hour and a half away from Indianapolis. Um, but yeah, so I wonder what he cooked, because I am starving. Yeah, I, was, I was drinking like... DJ made and breakfast. I got well, over hard like eggs with some potatoes and sausage. And that, and that kind of material. Milk yeah, and biscuit. Oh, man. Gracie right, smashed right, right, her food right. already. Was it good, yeah. Gracie? Wow. It was good. <coughs> Jay got his food. Thank you, sir. Eggs. No Thanks, BJ. No problem. No problem. Breakfast looks good. No problem. <laughs> so we're in Lafayette, Indiana. The birthplace of Chad here. And he told me he reminiscing. Like, honestly, when did y'all move? How old was you? Like, two? When y'all moved to Indianapolis? You don't remember none of this stuff. Remember, but I came back all the time. We passed his little, the hospital he was born in. It was, it's now closed. How you gonna shut down the hospital I was born in? Uh, that I guess, shows how important I guess, or unimportant you are. I guess because after me, they just really just couldn't get enough energy for the rest of the babies. Is, that, I is was that just, right? I was just too special. Yeah. He's crazy. So yeah, we are on our way to so the graduation. So this Walgreens wasn't here. The graduation the open house. <laughs> the, Wait, the graduation <laughs> open house. Excuse me. I've been asleep, y'all. Yeah, she's been asleep. I've been knocked out. And, uh, yeah, so. I sure hope they got some food, because I'm going to be hungry. I know. I've been eating freaking crackers and combos <coughs> and drinking on Sprite. <laughs> I haven't had any meals since breakfast, so. <sighs> yeah. So we're gonna get to see the fam bam again. This is the family from Alabama. Um, so yeah, you'll recognize all of them when you guys see them again. Show you guys a little bit of Lafayette. That's where Purdue is. Oh yeah, this is where Purdue University is. Very popular Now they can relate school. to that. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys all know Purdue. Um, it's been a long time since I've been to Lafayette. Did you ever have to work in Lafayette? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. I knew you went to Bloomington and stuff like that. Yeah, we came to Purdue, too. I mean, Lafayette, too. So, yeah. That's all you get if it's Lafayette for the moment. Yeah, but this is where... It's where it all went down. Born. Huh? It's where your boy was born. Great. <laughs> Joe At least my hospital is still up and running. And what, what hospital? St. Vincent. Oh, the well, best hospital used, ever. The well, one my mom used to work at. On 86? Yeah. Yep. She worked on Harcourt. Too. Yes, sir. That's where I was born. Yeah. Well, my dad had two heart surgeries there. Shut your... I can't stand you. <laughs> the moral of the story is I'm more important because my hospital is... You're more important because... Still up and running. Because and you're wonderful. <laughs> but that's the only reason. <laughs> that's why your phone's ringing. Okay. <sighs> so how about I didn't record anything at the graduation party. Or anything after that because I don't know I wasn't thinking about it but we're back at the hotel now we just went for a swim a nightly swim looking for a light over here Can you turn this bad boy on? here so we just got back from a nightly swim it was cold as bejesus in that pool though it wasn't about the right so yeah now we're about to Hang out in the sheets. Uh, whatever. Yeah, we're gonna hang out and hey. look forward to sleep in tomorrow. Um, very excited about sleeping in. Um, yeah, because the graduation's at like two, so <clears throat> we'll be chilling. I think we're meeting everybody for like brunch and then we're gonna go to the graduation, so yeah. 
You guys missed out all the fun today because <laughs> I didn't pull out my camera. Babe, why you didn't remind me to get my camera? I don't know. See, he's not helpful. My bad, I'll remind you next time. I'll be sure to get footage tomorrow of the actual graduation. So, all right. Uh, six of the cheese cups. <laughs> oh, yes, please. <laughs> no, I he think that's it. Mama. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but she didn't know what she wanted. So it's Sunday. I have and I didn't record well, any I of the graduation. I'm going to be charging. Can you repeat it to me just to make sure I didn't leave anything out? Please? Or anything of today because I forgot. Sorry. So we're back home in Indy. <laughs> Annapolis Perfect. at my mom's house. So yeah, um, um, I got a card when you ready. Chad's ordered a pizza. Uh, the master card. And mom is talking to talking to uh, her stepfather. I mean, her stepfather, my stepfather. Yeah, I'm tired. But I gotta eat something before I go to sleep. But I think we're gonna we're gonna sit up and like watch a movie. Um, I don't remember what she said. She's got she said she got New Year's Eve. Know, We've seen New Year's Eve already, but we'll watch it again. So yeah, we're just hanging out. We have fun hanging out with Chad's fam. Um, it's been a good trip. We're gonna leave sometime tomorrow. We gotta pick up Oscar from that ass house. And <laughs> get on the road tomorrow but yeah i just went filling filming today so yeah sorry about that <coughs> how long did they say 45 minutes oh you have to get you have to eat something to tie you over 45 minutes i asked them to rush it you ain't I I told him I said it shit shut up stupid i think he was fish <laughs> Come bite your finger. Um, I don't know. I didn't ask. Hey. Doesn't she look beautiful today? No, I look a hot mess right you know now. Dot com. Sometimes that's what it does. Yeah, so that's it. But today. They're good. So I Yes, I don't know what she told you about today, but we had a good day. And congrats to my niece and my other niece. Because they graduated high school today. So that was pretty awesome. So we went and watched them. I think she told you. But uh, congrats to Lauren and Courtney. So that's it. Usually, you get back at 9.45 tonight. It's <laughs> both the basketball games. I bet you it's only going to take us like 15 minutes. <laughs> what? You think it's going to take us more than 15 minutes? Dear, let's see what we are at already. We're already at a minute. <clears throat> Babe, but we went a far way.